friends welcome today in this class we will talk in detail about the capital budget that is one of the type of the government budget here in this lecture we will talk about the meaning and the concept of capital budget and the types of the capital budget that is the capital receipt and the capital expenditures so now let's understand it here the government budget is basically divided in two types one of the type of the government budget is the revenue budget that talks about the short term expenditure or the receipts of the government budget and the second type is the capital budget capital budget deals with the long term investment and expenditures okay so capital budget is the estimation of the capital expenditure that is the long term expenditure and the long term receipts of the government okay now capital budget also divided into further two types capital budget includes the capital receipts okay anything any money that is the inflow of the cash which the government gets that is known as the capital receipts and the second type of the capital budget is the capital expenditure that is the capital payment made by the government that is known as the capital expenditure here capital receipts are the non recurring in nature it is non recurring in nature capital receipt is anything that creates liability for the government or it reduces the asset of the government so that is known as the capital receipt if the government borrows money from other outside parties then it gets the receipt and due to that it creates the liability for the government so for the capital receipt it must be necessary that it creates either a liability or it reduces the asset here the whatever the asset government has government purchases the whole or the sum of it when the government sell to the other party and get the receipt okay so it is included in the capital receipt so for uh, for the purpose of the capital capital receipt this two condition either of this condition must be fulfilled that is it either creates a liability or it reduces a asset okay now the we have the three categories of the capital receipt okay the first category is the borrowing how the government get the capital receipt the first category is the borrowing the government raised from from borrowing the money okay government borrows money to meet the excess expenditure to meet excess expenditure government borrows money from any other party right from where the government borrows money the government borrows money from the open market that is from the public through uh, equity shares okay etc or either it borrows money from the foreign bodies or the foreign countries foreign countries like uh, usa uk england the when the uh, government borrows money from any other foreign countries then it is the borrowing from the foreign countries government borrows from the reserve bank of india okay through the treasury bills it is the borrowing of the government and you uh, and whatever money received by the government is known as the capital receipt government also borrows money from the uh, international institution international institution like the imf indian monetary fund world bank etc right so all through all these sources government borrows money that is long term in nature so uh, that creates the capital receipt for the government now the second category of the capital receipt is the recovery of the loan okay. whatever the money government has some of the money that is the excess of money 
government invest in loan through providing uh, loan to the state or the foreign countries or uh, the IMF etc. Right? So when the government get back that money, that is recovered the money through uh, money of their loans, then they get the receipt. Okay. So that is also known as the capital receipt of the government. And the third category of the capital receipt is the other receipt. Other receipts include the disinvestment of the government. So government has made some investment in the uh, private sector firms okay, through the equity shares or etc. When the government sells the shares of the private sectors or it disinvests its uh, investment then it, it gets the receipt that is known as the disinvestment and it gets the capital receipts right or the some of the others like government uh, invested in the small savings like the deposits from the post office right or the some schemes like the national uh, saving certificate or the kisan vikas patra etc these are all are known as the capital receipt of the company of the government right so this is about the capital receipts of the government now let's move on to the capital expenditure capital expenditure expenditure means the payment okay that that includes the outflow of cash when government pays any uh, money to any party for the long term purposes for the long term benefit then it is known as the capital expenditure okay here capital expenditure happens when either it creates a set when capital expenditure happens when either the government creates assets or it reduces the liability of the government okay so government purchases assets for its future needs or the requirement assets like the purchases of assets like uh, investment in the land, okay? uh, land uh, buildings, equipment, etc. So it creates a set through it and it gives a future benefit to the firm and it adds to the capital stock of economy. Okay. For example, the government of India invests its money or uh, do the expenditure in the construction of the metro then metro is the asset for the India okay so it creates asset that is known as the capital expenditure okay capital asset uh, here it creates asset through the investment also government purchases the shares equity shares of various uh, states or the union territories or uh, of any uh, private sector enterprises also so it creates asset for the company uh, asset for the government right or else it creates it reduces the liability right when the government pays the borrowing okay when the government pays return back the borrowing funds of from various uh, from various institution then it is uh, it will reduces the liability of the government that is the that is known as the capital expenditure for example when the government has borrowed money from any foreign country or from the any uh, international institution and it repay it to whomsoever that is known as the capital expenditure okay so this is about the capital expenditure and the capital receipt it is a basic two types of the capital budget okay i hope you understand it very well this is all about the capital budget thank you so much